her autopsy report. Okay. She... Got her. What is it? She drowned. The stab wound was non-fatal. What? Check out zero five R sixty three three twenty five. This one either. Uh, where's the damn box? Well...
that's a picture I definitely don't want to keep. Is zero five R sixty one eight eighty Shouldn't police reports be straight and to the point? services. What? Where are you? What's going on? from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Brew. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh-huh. K-A-N-S... K-Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue, how worried should we be? Mm, 
I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Yellow's Crossing Police Department. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Uh, hello, I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She, she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. We're home. Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? 12 Cannery Road. Please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Reference is 05R68MISC. Nope. You finding anything? <sighs> Not this one either. That's not it. Well... Zero 05 R68 MISC. Is that here? Tessa's name came up. Search for her. Thank you. 
References 2005-201-546. No, that's not it. Thank you. 
one either. Uh, where's the damn box? You finding anything? What the hell? That's an accuser of child neglect. I need to get moving. Shit. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. He's coming your way. Get out. Uncle, I... We didn't mean I'm to- I'm not gonna repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. I said move it! H hey Get off me! You'd rather spend the night here? Come on! I said don't fucking touch me! Go on! And consider yourselves lucky your family! You're right family. And for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa? Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plain supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported our mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision. Inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? 
Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust, but you've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. All right, I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? What's up? I, uh, feel like I owe you an apology. Oh yeah? What for? Breaking and entering? Invasion of privacy? Sorry. It was messed up. Huh, don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. So, uh, I saw the invoice from Fireweed. When you were going through my stuff? Right. I, uh... We don't have to talk about it. Oh, uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. So, thank you, okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler, you're welcome. Well, see you around then? You know where to find me. Should we go? 